Hey guys, I'm Greg. Welcome to Greg's Beer Reviews today. Let's go see what's in the fridge today, guys. Alright guys, thanks for stopping by Greg's Beer Reviews today. Today wraps up our series of uh, pumpkin beers for this year. Uh, don't plan on buying any more. Uh, I've re-reviewed a couple of them that I reviewed back when I first started being, doing beer reviews and uh, uh, a couple of new ones that I have not done before. And this, is, this one fits in that category. I have not had anything from these guys before. This is from How Sound brewing and they're out of Squamish, Canada. I uh, don't think I've had a pumpkin beer from Canada. And the, and the biggest thing about this bottle is it's got the uh, resealable top if you want to drink a little bit and, and reseal it. Uh, I'm not a fan of that because the beer usually goes flat uh, within a, a, a day or two. So if you wanted to drink half of this and drink the other half the next day it would probably be okay. But it's not something you'd want to reseal after drinking half of it and, and, and leave it in the fridge for a week or two or a month. It would definitely go flat over that length of time, I would think. Uh, but it's a, it's a nice big bottle. I mean, uh, you could actually use this uh, as a small growler if you wanted to take it to a, uh, a local uh, brewery and get them to refill it with whatever. It does have the resealable top on it right here. So that makes it very nice, very nice bottle. So that was the biggest aspect other than being a brewery that I've never had before. So uh, hopefully this will be a treat and uh, I'll be able to review some more of their beers. Uh, I wasn't aware it was available. I picked this up at a lo local craft beer store. Uh, matter of fact, a new craft beer store that just opened up here uh, about six, eight weeks ago. Uh, very nice store. Uh, basically very similar to what I would want to open up. And they're on the other side of town uh, in the high rent district, whereas uh, I would try to find a place where well, we're still looking. It's still not out of the uh, out of the realm that the Greg's Beer Review Store is going to happen uh, within the next couple of months, uh, three, four, five, six months down the road. Uh, I talked to a uh, ABC agent the other day, and uh, he told me a few things how to speed up that process of getting the ABC license a little quicker than what I was told. But anyway, that's, uh, that's uh, down the road. So let's get on with this beer review. Uh, this is their Pumpkin Eater Imperial Pumpkin Ale. This comes in at 8% and they are calling it an Imperial Pumpkin Ale. Uh, we did some earlier uh, in the week uh, that were 8% and uh, they were not classified as, or did not have it written on the bottle, that it was an Imperial Pumpkin Ale. Once you get to, to the seven and a half, eight percent, that's an imperial or a, or a double. That's the way I, that's the way I interpret it anyway. When you're looking at an eight percent beer, that, that's almost twice what a normal macro lager beer would be. So uh, it's into the imperial class as far as I'm concerned. Just my opinion now. All right, this is How Sound Pumpkin Eater. This is their imperial pumpkin ale. This is an 8%er. The IBUs on this beer are 19. This is a seasonal, autumn released. Uh, I do not know when it was put in the bottle. Uh, we'll look at that when we come back for the final chug. Uh, this is definitely a great big bottle. I'm not exactly sure how big it is, but it is a big bottle. Let's see if it says here on here. It says ale brewed with pumpkin and spices. It is 8%. And it says flavored ale, one quart, 1.8 fluid ounces. So uh, that's about a, that's about a 40 ouncer there. So uh, it looks like a pretty much like a 40 ouncer, other than the resealable top on there. I mean, if you're into the 
king cobras and the uh, the uh, what I consider a garbage beer. That's probably going to offend a lot of people, but uh, a lot of those malt liquors are are, are, are done in this this size bottle in the forty ounce bottle. So uh, hopefully this won't be as nasty as that. I hope not. Anyway, I spent good money on this beer, so hopefully it won't be too nasty. We're about to find out. Commercial description on this, a high gravity pumpkin ale brewed with barley, fresh roasted pumpkin, hops, cloves, cinnamon, nutmeg, star, anise, water, and yeast. It is one of the local seasonal favorites. This beer is produced in a very limited quantity. Each fall is a part of the John Mitchell series. Very nice, very nice. Like I said, I don't think I've had any pumpkin beers from Canada. So this will be a first for me on this particular type of beer. And being a pumpkin beer, it's not really classified uh, in the guidelines as a beer. It's not being recognized so far as that. But as many people are doing it, it probably won't be long before it be classified as a style. Uh, it doesn't have a typical food pairing other than it says dessert and the meat is poultry. So um, it is what it is. I mean, if you like a pumpkin beer, you can have this with just about anything that you like eating and drinking with this style of beer. Glass first pint, Becker not a tumbler and mug. I've got the double glass for this, with eight percenter plus uh, using the double glass. Uh, I'm not going to pour a full glass of it, so I have a little headroom for the aroma, so I can I can get a better nose on what's going on in the beer. And uh, not recommended for extended cellaring. Uh, your pumpkin beers uh, at eight percent, it's not going to go bad. I mean, this is probably keep for two or three years, but you're going. I'm I'm sure. Some of those uh, qualities are going to fade over time. It's not like an IPA where the hops are going to fade, but I got a feeling the, the pumpkin spices are going to fade a little bit and, uh, and, and whatnot. So, with that being said, let's get this big monster bottle over here. Hopefully, it won't skew all over the place like the other one did the other day. Got a very nice cap with a, with a uh, pumpkin, carved pumpkin on it. That will go on the fridge. Nice hiss. Doesn't seem like it's getting ready to explode, so let's get it in the glass. And being an imperial, let's see what kind of head it generates. Yeah, looks like we're going to get a pretty good head on this. Pumpkin eater. Oh, right about three fingers to pay without aggressive pour. Over to the light. I can't see the bulb right through it. It is a rich amber. Not quite to the copper color, but it is a deep amber color. Nice head poured on that one. Very good looking beer in the glass. Let's get a nose on it. A lot of pumpkin pie spices going on with this beer. There is a slight hint of alcohol. But it tells you on the bottle that it is an 8%er. So you know. Nice nutmeg, cinnamon, cloves, allspice. Your typical pumpkin pie spices. Smells very good. Other than that hint of alcohol. Let's give it a taste. Cheers, everybody. Very well made beer. Not getting that alcohol in the taste. Very pleasant. Seems to be fairly balanced. Doesn't seem to be too bitter on the back end. A lot of nice pumpkin-y sweetness on the front. Pleasantly surprised. But I've had anything from these guys before, so this is a good sign. I mean, it's uh, uh, I don't know how many different beers these guys brew. Let me take a quick look here and see what it says. It 
And it looks like they've got a nice uh, selection here of different beers that they brew. So hopefully uh, I'll be able to get my hands on the, some other beers that they brew. This was picked up at the craft beer store, the new craft beer store that opened up on the other side of town. So uh, hopefully they'll be carrying some more of their beers. Very nice. Nice slicing left on the glass. Very easy drinking. A nice sweetness up front. I like that. Not overly bitter on the back end. Very sessionable for an 8%er. But this is a monster bottle. This is the 40 ounce. So definitely uh, enough to share with at least one or two other people. Well, if you drank all this, you'd have your buds going on, no doubt. But I do like the resellable bottle. So it's not a throwaway. It's something that the home brewers can use and, and, and put their beer in it if they need to. Very nice. That's a plus for us. Especially when you pay, you know, $10, 11 12 15 dollars for one bottle of beer and it has that resellable top on it where uh, the home brewers like myself can re reuse these type bottles similar to a gross uh, bottle that you can uh, that you can reseal so very nice or if you're if you're uh, if you're a bachelor or, or somebody that lives by themselves uh, you, you, you could actually you know, drink half of this and, and come back tomorrow and reseal it and, and drink the other half before it got too flat I'm sure we keep that long. Very nice. Well, let's ride the fridge 40 degrees. Let's let it warm up a hair, and like we always do, and come back and do the final chug. All right, guys, I'm back. Got just a little left here. This does have a bottle on date stamped onto the bottle of 72114. So this was done in uh, about the third week of July. You already heard what I have to say about that, about them bottling. A pumpkin beer in July when most people are, are, are buying or wanting to buy this beer in September or October for the uh, fall seasonal beer. 8% it's going to keep for a little while but still I would love to have had this at the end of July or the first of August instead of here in October. Uh, I got a feeling that it would have been just a tad different not much, but just enough where it may make a great point one way or the other as far as freshness and everything coming together and uh, being a well-balanced beer. But it's very enjoyable. I I enjoyed this beer. It's very tasty. So let's do the final chug on this one. Very nice pumpkin, allspice, nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon smell to this beer. Very easy drinking for an 8%. The bottle is definitely reusable with that resealable top. Big plus uh, in my book being a home brewer. Being able to reuse this or like I said if you, wanted, if you were single and you wanted to drink half of this today and drink the other half tomorrow or the next day. It's a resealable top so it would probably keep. But very tasty. First beer I've had from these guys up in Canada. Uh, this is done by the Howe Sound Brewing out of Squamish, Squamish, Canada. So very tasty. Uh, I'm looking forward to trying more of their beers. So uh, very tasty beer. I don't know if they do all the beers in this type of bottle. We'll find out. Uh, this is the only one I've seen from them at the store when I bought this one. So hopefully we'll be able to get more of their stuff here in Virginia. Uh, I will be keeping my eye out for the uh, more of their stuff. Uh, very tasty. My favorite brewery up in Canada has been Unibrew or Unibrow, however you want to call that beer. Uh, they do some awesome stuff up there uh, as far as that brewery anyway. Uh, very tasty. Guys, uh, uh, this one is very tasty. Uh, it's not super outstanding, but it's very decent. Very nice pumpkin beer as far as I'm concerned. So I'm going to give this 
I'm gonna give this an eight, which is an A minus. I do think it's an A beer. It's very well made. There is no alcohol taste uh, in the beer once it's warmed up. Got all the pumpkin pie spices in it. I don't know if they actually use pumpkin for the beer or if they're just adding spices to the beer uh, to give it that pumpkin taste. But uh, very nice, very very enjoyable. So uh, definitely worth picking up if you get your hands on this one from. Uh, House Sound uh, Brewery. I liked it. I enjoyed it very much. So this wraps up our uh, our pumpkin beer week. Uh, we re-reviewed uh, a few of the beers I've done uh, before, and a couple of them that I have not had before. Um, and when I was at the beer store the last time, I looked around and picked up what I thought needed to be re-reviewed, and a couple of them that I have not reviewed before and uh, most of the other ones uh, that are available here in Virginia uh, I've already reviewed and uh, basically discarded uh, they are they were okay or, or less than okay and uh, decided not to re-review them or, or anything like that but I'm I may change my tune uh, come this time next year I, I may pick up some of those other ones because craft brewers uh, change the recipes and they get better and uh, your palate changes over time uh, and if you don't get better, if you're not a very good beer and you don't get better, you're not going to be doing that beer very much longer so uh, either you step up to the plate and, and uh, make a decent beer or that beer goes by the wayside or you go by the wayside so that's how, that's how it is in the craft beer and there are so many craft breweries now as opposed to 20 years ago that uh, if you're not making a a, a decent beer or, or a very tasty beer you're not going to be in business very long so there are so many people out there that uh, have uh, they either make a great beer to start with or have improved the recipes over time to keep up with competition and uh, Either you, you make a good beer or you don't, and yeah, you either stay in business or you don't. But uh, with that being said, uh, like I said, th this is a pretty tasty beer. Uh, I'm going to give it the, the 8 uh, out of 10, which is the A-. minus. I, th I do think it's an A beer, very tasty beer. It's got the date on the bottle. It is a bottle that uh, the home brewers like myself can reuse and uh, and put beer in, or if you're not a home brewer and you want to have half this beer today and have the other half tomorrow or the next day, uh, it has a resealable top on it, so that is a win-win for us and for them as far as I'm concerned. So let's go see what everybody else thinks. We'll go over to Rank Beer. I mean, a Beer Advocate. Beer Advocate says 87, which is in a very good range. I would not argue heavily with that. But I think it's a tad better than that. If I was putting a, new, a numeric rating on this beer, it would probably be a 92 or a 93 is where I would put it. And over to uh, Rake Beer. Rake Beer says overall 89 and 96 in the style. So there are some people who think it fits the style pretty well. And, and, I, and I'll be in that category. I think it does fit that style pretty well. Four and eight percenter. It's fairly easy drinking. No alcohol. And... Uh, Resellable bottle. That's a, that's a plus. It's a big bottle. It's, it is a 40 ounce. Definitely enough to share or to save for another day if you want to drink it by yourself. That's the way I feel about it. Very nice one from How Sound Brewing out of Squamish, Canada. So, a good beer from north of the border. Very nice. I don't think it's quite to the unibrew, unibrow or unibrew uh, status, but very tasty. So I enjoyed this one, guys. So if you've got this one from uh, from them, let me know what you think of it. And let's see what we're going to drink tomorrow. I think we're done with the pumpkin beers. Maybe we'll give us a tan tomorrow. Join me then. I'll see you then.